Hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome to Vlogmas Day 25. It is the end of Vlogmas and it is Christmas Day. It is currently 10 p.m. 10 a.m. sorry on Christmas morning and we have opened all our gifts and we've had breakfast. <coughs> and I've got a bit of time so I snuck away upstairs to come film this haul for you guys. Um I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas. Before we get started, and I probably think you're fed up of hearing YouTubers say this, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape or form. I'm so grateful for everything I got and thank you to everyone who did get me a present. So, should we begin? We'll start with Secret Santa. So if you watched yesterday's vlog, you would have seen this. But for my Secret Santa, my brother had me and he got me It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I said I was going to start this, but I never actually got around to starting it last night. Um, but it's it starts with us by Queen Hoover. It is the sequel to It Ends of Us by her as well. And I cannot wait to start that today. I am definitely going to start it. We're actually going out tomorrow for lunch and it's about an hour and a half away where we're going. So I'll probably read it in the car to be honest. Now moving on to stocking fillers. Our stockings are from Santa. Our stockings can actually have the most random stuff in them. They're just like little toys and like bits and bobs to play around with in the morning while we're waiting to go open normal presents um so first thing i got was a slinky um we normally get one of these pretty much every year but i got a slinky hola connor's come to say hi first thing i got was a pack of socks um they're just these five really cute like different types of socks from primark yeah so cute um thank you and the next thing I got was a reusable hand warmer from Wilco. This is so cute. It's like a hot water bottle. So you literally put hot water in it like you do a hot water bottle. Let's open it. Oh no, you don't. She also got a long one for Christmas. I'm lying. You don't put hot water in it. I don't actually know what you do. Can I see it? I want to just see how it works. Oh, you break this button inside. Yeah. And then it's like any other hand warmer. Oh, I thought they were like hot water bottles. But... I love how hand warmers and that is perfect. That's your first ever hand model, so how do you love them? Because I had them a couple years ago. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Are they like gloves? Can I try putting my hand in? You don't put it. Um, they're so nice and like nice for walking to school. Next thing I got yeah. was a pen from the works. It's got a little butterfly on the end and then a pink pom pom. And then last but not least, I got a Dairy Milk selection box. It's got a Curly Whirly, a Little Bar, a Chomp, a Freddo, uh, a Fudge, and then another Freddo and chocolate buttons. I love these. Moving on to main presents. I have, like, gone ahead and previously, like, gone through all my presents and put them into different, like, categories. So we're going to start with clothing. This is such a basic thing and probably comes so nat like is so weird for me to get like asked for but it was a pack of long crew nike socks i've been really wanting these and they're quite expensive they're a tenner bearing in mind i just normally wear like cheapy socks or i wear um the short nike socks i have in my i mean the long adidas socks or the short nike ones and um, but i wanted some nike long nike ones to wear with my converse because they're quite nice with converse or um my air forces pulled up over leggings because i love that kind of fashion i usually wear them over my seamless leggings or some black fluffy leggings um pulled up and then with my air forces on underneath the next thing i got what well, i would have spoken about a couple videos time when you guys asked me what i wanted for christmas silk pajamas these are also from primark they i don't know how much they were to be honest um but this is the top it's like a cropped one and then long bottoms Talking about pyjamas, we also got these in our Christmas Eve box, what I showed you guys in the Christmas Eve vlog, that I still haven't edited. I think this is the last item of clothing, but it is a new dressing gown. Um, this one is from Primark, again. Um, we love Primark pyjamas, but it is so nice. The only thing I wish is it had a hood, but it is this print, and then you know how I'm going to have my hair tomorrow. I'm going to do it. I have a silk one, but it's just a bit uncomfortable, so I'm going to wear dressing gown curls and if you want to see that i'll probably film a tiktok about it moving on to beauty where this is mostly where my presents all are from i don't know if you would consider this beauty but it's an impale leather moisturizing gift set um it's in the scent jasmine um what scent is it jasmine and vanilla orchard it is a foam burst and then a shower gel these foam bursts 
are literally my favourite thing in the world. I have so many of them in different scents. Um, and this is a new scent to try. Oh my god, I've already opened it. I forgot that. But these are really nice to shave with, actually. Um, and then it's got the matching charger. These just smell so nice. They smell very clean, if that makes any sense to any of you. Um, and I can't wait to use that in the shower tonight. The next thing I got were some new makeup brushes. These are just some grey. I would say grey, but they look a bit blue. Just some like little ones and then some bigger ones. So there's that one that one and then that one and um, this will be really nice with a blush like to blend blush in and they're so soft i can't tell you how soft they are um but these are really nice i think my mum got them off at amazon talking about blush i got three new shades i got a blush bronze a blush light and a blush blush um these came in his blush lights bronzer and blush duo so for the bronzer since it's already open I got Hello There, what is the like kind of cool toned brown, but it's going to look so nice on my skin tone, I think. I then got for my blush, I got my favourite Posy Rosy. Oh my goodness, I love this shade so much. I think it's so pretty and definitely up my, I just spilled it on me, definitely up my street. And then for blush lights, what is something new that I'm trying out is a chance of peach. Now, I wouldn't probably use this as a highlighter, but I think on the eyes maybe or something like that. Well, actually, I haven't really looked at the shade, so let's have a look. I probably wouldn't use it for highlighter because I'm more of a silver highlighter girl, like a drip drip. Oh, no, probably not. This is gorgeous, though. The shine of his blush lights, it's kind of got a purple sheen to it or pink. I'm so excited to actually use these and dig into them. I'll probably use the blush bronze and posy rosy for my makeup tomorrow. By the way, I don't get dressed or wear makeup on Christmas. Just say it. Next, these are the smallest beauty blenders I've ever seen. Like, look how small these are. This is probably the smallest beauty blender I've ever owned. Because I got one in my advent calendar the other day. But this is tiny also my advent calendar i got a palette today but it's so awesome talking about palettes what moves us swiftly on is a beauty bay palette this is my first ever palette from beauty bay well it sounds crazy because you think i would own a palette from beauty bay no this is the beauty bay bright palette because if you can't i can't tell i've got an eye infection it's actually from the james charles palette i've had it for about a year and a half no exactly two years because i got it for christmas two years ago but this palette, first of all, the colour of the actual palette, this is the palette. It's stunning. I'm so scared to swatch one because the Beauty Bay palettes have a B in them, or like E in each shade, and I'm so, oh, I've just got a fingerprint on the mirror. I'm so scared to swatch one. Also, it has a mirror, what is awesome. By the way, I'm filming on my old camera because my, old, my new one isn't charged. But I can't wait to dig in. Starting with like the nudes at the top and then going down to literally, as they say, lime green, shimmery blues, everything. I really want to swatch a daydream. What is this shit down here? And then also paradise. What's this blue? I'm a very blue slash pink girl. So that's like where I definitely use my colours the most. I cannot wait to play around with this. Um, and if I do... I will put pictures on Instagram and obviously TikToks because you girls are TikToker. Okay, what's next? This is something I've been wanting to try this brand. It's The Ordinary. I've heard such good things about it and as you can see my skin is definitely not at its best right now. So it's a like three set. I think they're minis just to say. But it's a daily set. So it's got the um, cleanser, the hyaluronic acid and then the moisturiser. Um, hyaluronic acid serum, sorry. So it comes like this, and there's the three. I think the serum isn't a mini, but the other two are minis. Um, so this is the cleanser. I haven't even opened these, so I don't actually know what the texture and stuff is. Is there foil on them? Yeah, that's foil. Okay, that's what the cleanser's like. Sorry, we're going to definitely be testing this out over the next couple of days. And I will update you guys with my results on my Instagram stories, probably. That's probably where I do the most of updates. 
Should we test this? Let's see what the consistency is like. Oh, it's quite thick. I like a thick moisturiser because it means that it's like gonna keep my face moisturised. First good sign is it doesn't burn my skin. And they have no scent was perfect for like what I like. And then last but not least is the hyaluronic acid serum. This is what I've been wanting to try the most. Just saying, everyone talks about hyaluronic acid and how good it is for your skin. So it's definitely what I've been wanting to try. How many drops do you mix do of serum? Apply a few drops. I don't know how many is a few, but it is also no smell and it's really glowy. What's really nice because my mum said that I shouldn't be using other serums while I'm using that one. So my glow serum is out of the picture. What's so sad? Okay, next. I'm gonna leave my favourite present to the end. Sorry guys. Um, next thing, it's really random, but I really wanted to try this. Basically, I bought an Ariana Grande 100 mil about, I think it was in the summer, um, once my nan left. So, like just before September started, so end of August. And it's 100 mil, so I can't really take a perfume to school. So, there's these that I fa we found on Amazon. And you get three in a pack, and there's like minis. And then it comes with this adapter thing. And you attach this somehow onto like the perfume big bottle and then it goes into this. I don't know how you do it yet, we're going to find instructions. But so then I can take the mini, perfume to school, and I'm actually going to be buying a new perfume soon. So stay tuned for that because you guys are actually going to be picking the one I get over on my Instagram. Um, okay, next present. We are out of the makeup and beauty category and moving on to like treats and food i guess so the first thing i'm going to show you is this toffee set if you know me you know these are my favorite chocolates so it's a toffees set it is two of the 15 piece ones so we just grab them one and get it out I'm probably gonna rip this actually so i love these chocolates with every single bone in my body so I'm so happy about it because if you do know me and these chocolates are my favourite things in the world um so yeah and then the next thing my mum got those in high bargains by the way I think they were two quid maybe one pound fifty the next thing is a bubble tea kit I got one of these last year if you watched last year's Christmas haul what's these like forever ago um I got a different type but this one's from Squires Garden Centre and this serves three I think the other one served six but the other one was so much more expensive um and this is it it is so nice it is passion fruit syrup tea and then strawberry boba if you know me boba is my favorite thing on this planet um it's just so nice and refreshing i think we have two presents left and the next two are the best two i'm not sure which one to show you oh no i don't i have three left okay i forgot to show you this earlier my foot is starting to go numb because i've been sat on the floor oh, i'm feeling back in my leg please I got this really long hot water bottle. I love hot water bottles. Um, they're just such so nice. So I got this really long one. Don't know if you can see it. Like if it actually fits in the screen. But it's pretty much from my bottom of my stomach to my head. That's how long it is. So I think it's three feet maybe. Probably maybe a bit less. But I'm so excited to use that. That's going to keep me so warm in the winter. Well, around this time of the year then also for like stomach cramps and stuff like that it'll be so nice okay now we're on the final two presents i'm not sure which one to show you i think i'm going to start with the pink one well they're both pink we're going to start with this one first the other one is designer i got a mini fridge i've been wanting one of these since i was teeny like probably since i was four and i finally got one it is pink my brother got the same a blue one um and i'm obsessed with the look of it um it comes with all of these cables i'm going to plug them in um and it's got a little tray so actually what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to put cans on the bottom probably dr pepper cans and then on the top i'm going to put my serums and rose quartz roller um i know you probably shouldn't mix food but i'm not actually putting food it's just drinks <coughs> 
like bottles of water and cans. So I'm going to put my serums and my rose quartz roller on the top, for instance. It's going to look a little bit like that. I'm so excited to start using this. And it's going to look so cute in my room. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it where my books are or under my desk or on the side of my desk there behind you guys. I would show you, but my room's a bit of a mess. Last but certainly not least this box now this box is special because it's my first designer item and it is beauty related and it probably should have gone in the beauty category but we're gonna give it its own category okay you guys might think i'm overreacting but this brand is my dream brand i'm gonna be buying a perfume for them soon as well so you know but this brand is my favorite Dior. If I had to pick two designer brands, I would pick Dior Prada. But Dior definitely comes first for their beauty. Okay. First of all is this little bag. This has perfume samples in. And I'm actually going to give you a sneak peek. Because it's the perfume sample of the perfume I'm going to buy. And you probably can tell. If I'm going to buy a Dior perfume, you know what Dior perfume I'm going to buy. It is the Miss Dior perfume that I'm going to be buying later this week, hopefully. But the other sample that came in here was, I can tell you now, I think it was Joy, wasn't it? Yeah, Joy. Dior Joy. But that's just so cute. And the little bag completes the look. There. But I've got the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I didn't realise it was called Glow Oil, but it's in um, 001 and it is in the pink shade. It's the glow one not the natural one by the way i haven't actually opened it yet christian dior oh my goodness look how pretty this is it's definitely gonna be my most used item um i don't i want to like try it for you guys can come on i don't really have a mirror wait i've got a beauty of hair oh I also got another present that I'll talk about a bit in a second that actually has a problem with it. So, uh, in two seconds. Can I just say, it's very, like, liquidy. Okay, so my last present is actually a big Hollywood mirror. Maybe I'm not going to be showing you it because it is shattered. When we opened the box this morning, it was completely shattered and that's how it was obviously come from the company. So... We have gone on Amazon as soon as we saw that it was shattered. We've gone on Amazon and we have bought me a new one. It's going to be coming on Wednesday and I might vlog a day this week. So it will probably be in the vlog sometime. If not, it'll be over on my Instagram like everything normally is. But I don't really care. Like I've got everything else that's going to keep me occupied. And Wednesday's so close. It's literally three days away. So I cannot wait. Um, But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. And Vlogmas is over. I'm going to take a week long break. Just to be honest, I might have to. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I probably, I want to film. There's a video I want to film. I want to film like a 2022 favourites video. I'm not sure if I will. And I probably will film on New Year's. We're not really doing anything, I don't think. But, hello. Come here. Do not take something. She's been a pain all morning. She hates Christmas because it's so energetic. Oh, bye-bye. Um, but yeah, I want to film like a New Year's video sometimes. So like either New Year's prep with me. Um... New Year's Day, like leading up to New Year's Day, or a 2022 favourite. So whatever one of those you want to see, I'll put a poll on my Instagram probably <coughs> at some point this week. Um, but I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I know it's Boxing Day, but thank you all for spending Vlogmas with me. And I'm so happy that it's over, kind of, just a little bit, because it is so stressful. I'm definitely doing it again next year, though. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I will see you next week for another non-Christmas upload. Bye! Mwah.